not referring. So I, this not referring. Um, so I think like two weeks ago I was texting you. Yeah, Antica. You like <laughs> that like the vaccine and all this COVID, it's like evil intentions and just something for like control and power. Uh -huh. said, this entire dunya and system is evil, and we'll talk more when you come. Yes. So I want to know if you can elaborate more on that. Okay, on the vaccine, or yeah, on the you. pandemic. Yeah, uh, I guess everything. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit something. So. The disease is real. Maybe when it first came out, so many people are doubting it. This is fake, this, this, right? Now, don't you see, even Trump is saying it's real. So that's a very big indicator. It's real. You don't believe it's real, then don't go to India. Don't go to Indonesia. Don't go to other countries. Just go to where your... Um, Hospital is where people are dying from COVID. Go there without your mask and sit with them. I dare them. I mean, all those people who don't believe, I dare you go. You think it's fake? Go. Go. So they are being fooled. And then there are shaitans who say we don't want them to believe because we want to make people always to be in a state of confusion. Confusion is it's not about haq and batil. It is haq and batil mixed. You understand? So people don't know if it's haka or it's bottle because it's mixed. Maybe they give a little bit of bottle, but a whole lot of, uh, no, a little bit of haka, a whole lot of bottle, and people are confused. They think everything is haq, everything is true. So it's true, right? So it is a disease, yes? Yeah. Okay. And Allah is saying, every disease that we send, we also send a, a cure. There is a cure. Now, so many people saying, I have a cure, I have a cure, I have a cure, I have a cure. So many people. Every country is saying, you chew this leaf, you do this, you do that. Everyone thinks they have a cure. That's fine. I'm not against it. If it works, then take it. One of the cures that is working is a vaccine. There's a whole system of what it means, a whole system of how it is produced. There's a whole system of that. And it also depends which company. It also depends which country because this is also politicized. So that, Allah sends cure now. There are many, many different kinds of cure that people say it is. I'm not going to debate to say whether if you take this or this or this or this is a cure. I'm not going to debate that. I'm going to say very good. The vaccine is also one of those cures. You understand? And will people make people, other people to be confused about this? Yes. Am I saying every vaccine it is, it is not a, it is a cure? I'm not saying that too. People who want to take it, they can take it. People who don't want to take it, I'm not forcing them. But the intention, it is clear now. What you have to do to take it. If you think that you're protected and you have nothing to do with this, you're not going to be exposing yourself, da da da. Don't. I'm not forcing you. But if the situation happens and it is passed and it's proven that the vaccine is there to help you and you're not taking it, then the responsibility is on you, it's not on me. If you believe that you are going to be protected, then that's your belief and I'll pray for you. You understand? So, now are people going to get confused? It is the nature of our hair zaman that people will be confused about every single thing. People are saying interest is haram, so I'm not going to get a loan from a bank to buy a house. But these same people live in a system where it is based on riba. Capitalism is based on riba. Do you understand? I hear people say, I only eat zabiha with such proudness. Never mind that the meats are cut very wrong, very badly, unhygienic, this and that and the other. Never mind. Because now people are saying Zabiha is just by saying those words. It's nothing else. Never mind that the animals were treated cruelly, this and that. Never mind. Put all of that, put all of that aside. Yet, pork is present in hundreds of daily items that we use. 
hundreds. So our Shah is saying, in terms of these kinds of things, don't dig too deeply. We live in a system now that is not Hilafat, that is not based on truth. We live in a system now, it's, everything is wrong. Now, if you're trying to live right, by saying, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this kind of thing, this, then you are going to dig deeper and deeper, and the more you find out, more you will be responsible. It's up to you. You are going to be responsible. This is what you think, but you're not asking what the scholars think. Individual. Religion has become individualistic. Islam has become individual. Who cares? You think Hazrat Umar cared? He set up. He was walking around with a whip in his hand. They were saying, okay, I didn't ask for this office, but now that you put him here, taking out his sword and putting it down, you have to listen to me. If you don't listen to me, I'll cut your neck off. So we don't live in that system. We live in a system where everything now is like upside down for believers, you understand? So we don't listen, we make it individualistic now. This is what I think. The one who has no shaykh is shaykh is shaitan. Or his shaykh is Google. Yes. And that is dangerous. Now if you're following scholars, then there's more protection for you. I'm not saying all scholars are also good, but at least there's some protection from you, for you. If you're following sheikhs, more protection for you. If you're following rightly guided sheikhs, there's more protection for you. You understand? Look to see what they are saying. Look to see what they are doing, because it has wisdom now. Don't go according to your idea of what shariat and tariqat is. That will confuse you. It will burn you out because you cannot carry it. It's not meant to be. So now, there are some vaccines that are no good, not so great. There are some vaccines that are better. Do we need more time? We need more time with everything. People are not understanding vaccines were first invented by the Muslims and by the Ottomans. Because they just get fooled by this it used to be a time when, let's say, I'm generalizing, 99% of America only believes in mainstream news. Okay? Then a few voices that are standing up against that, and they're saying, no, this is the other side of the story. Things that you're thinking is happening in this world and mainstream news, governments are saying it's like this. Small group of people saying, no, it's not like that, it's like this. Majority don't believe in that. Then this group became more powerful. People start to look at them. And now the evil ones, they're saying, wait, people are not listening to our story. They listen to their story. We can either cut the necks off destroy them, or we can make them to work for us. So let's see who is telling those stories. We'll give you more money. What you want? This, 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 we'll give you. Still say your stories, but now you work for us. And now more money we give, more story you're going to say what we want you to say. Do you understand now? So now this got bigger and bigger and bigger. And people, they are watching that people generally, as Allah is saying, most people don't think. They don't think. They don't challenge, they don't analyze, they don't think. And these kinds of things, it is better. People think that they are thinking, but they're not. It's just opposite to this. But no one is looking at this and thinking also. Wait, what about this, what about this, what about this? Especially now that it didn't become small, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and there's more and more idiotic things that are being said. And some people thinking, because it's gone bigger, there are sellouts also here, it is still the same as before when it was small and it was more sincere. You understand? So there is confusion there. The Dajjal will confuse you. So now, 
The reason for that is we are asking that whatever that we have in our life, our properties, our lives, our health, our worship, everything, it is for the sake of Allah. Okay? The disease is real. The cure, like this or like that, the most effective is what it is, the vaccines. Do you believe the vaccine is going to cure you? We are believers. We believe Allah is going to cure us. But Allah will use different means. You understand? So, we're asking Allah then, say, our intention is to come closer to you to do your work. This is the best that's available. It's not that great, it's not 100%, there are this and this, but we're asking you because you are more powerful than this. And our intention is for your sake. Same Hazrat Umar who took the poison and he drank. Poison is supposed to kill you. And he drank. But with that faith, it didn't kill him. You understand? So, there is, the aim is for confusion. Believers should not be confused now. Especially now, if you are, now it's worse because in a few decades ago maybe, like if you want to find alternative news, or reports, you find a small group, small struggling voice that makes you think that is so interesting, that is not s so stupid. You understand? That's not been taken over. You can still go there. And now this has grown so loud that it's worse than this. And now for those who are looking for real news now, they have to now read between the lines of everything. They cannot go here, they cannot go here too more you have to pull yourself back and you have to look to your guide and say what do you say it's important if you go according to that this it will suck you in they've taken over this already who are the especially in the west who are those ones who have taken over those ones who are very very uh, strong in feeling that they should destroy islam I'm speaking very openly yes not that these ones are any better, but these ones at least they look nice. So now we have to take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Then we have to say, what do you say? Your guide. Then we say, read like this, read like this, pull yourself back. Cure is coming from Allah. You understand? And then they get you more and more and more confused. Oh, they're going to put this in you, they're going to put that in you, they're going to put tiny chips in you, they're going to put this in you, and this. Yeah. And especially with the social media, you can put anything in there, people are going to believe. So the, the ground is perfect for that kind of situation, you understand? Because people don't want to think and they don't want to analyze, they don't want to sift through it. They just want to <gasps> yes, believe like that. So it's dangerous. Uh, now, doesn't matter that disease, again, not necessarily to say disease is coming from China or from America or from this. No, the disease is coming from Allah. He sent it. He sent it because we deserve it. To wake up. It is like a last chance for all of humanity to wake up and to say, who is your Lord? What have you done to this world? No. Are there foolish people on both sides? Of course there are. There are always foolish people. Are there people who say this is 100%? Of course there are. Are there people who say this is 100% this is wrong? Of course there are. Don't you know we live in a time of confusion? So we have to pick and choose now. And we have to say, I'm doing this for your sake. If you want to end my life, then it is as you like. If you want to prolong it, because my intention is to, then as you like. So going like that, you'll find more peace in your heart, more intelligence also, and a reason why you're doing it. Shah Avandi.
He used to say, people say, I don't want war. Why you don't want war? He says, I want peace. Why you want peace? I want to live longer. Why you want to live longer? I want happiness. Why you want happiness? The purpose of tariqat is to find meaning. And if the meaning is not going back to Allah, then that meaning becomes an ilah that is false, that will destroy you. It has to come back to Allah and His Prophet So we must think. So I'm not talking about everything, but giving you an idea of that. Don't get too caught up. Source is important. Where is the source coming from? Who is saying this? Our source is our shaykh. You understand? Our source is our Prophet and our Allah. And that time, even the whole world says we are wrong, we don't care. If the whole world says we are right, we don't care. We're not doing this for them. But you have to follow properly, otherwise you become extreme one way or another. Hmm? Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi